Hi, I'm Jonathan Engelsma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Eclipse C Development Tooling, or CDT, on Windows 7. When we're finished with this, you're going to be able to use your Windows computer to do C development. In order to get this up and running, there's actually two software packages that we need to install. The first package we need, need is called MinGW, and this is basically the GNU C compiler um, packaged up in a way that it'll run on Windows for us. So I'm just going to um, search for MinGW, and there it is, Minimalist GNU for Windows. And what we need to do is go down here to the download area and we want to go to the installer and get this program mingw-get-setup.exe and once it's downloaded I'm just going to go ahead and run it And we're going to take the defaults on this computer. And what we want here is the basic MinGW32 base, which includes the basic C compiler, which is all we're interested in at this point. So we're going to click on it, mark for installation, and if I wanted to program in C++ or Objective-C, um, Ada, Fortran, etc., I could select these other options. Once I've got that um, marked, which I, what I want, I'm going to click Apply Changes, and it will proceed to install. All right, so it's all installed now. So I'm going to hit close, and I'm going to exit out of this installer program, as well as my browser for now. Now, before I install the Eclipse software, I need to take one manual step um, and make sure that my computer, uh, my computer's path environment variable actually points to the software that I just um, uninstalled. And so what I need to do, first of all, let me just go back into Explorer and you'll recall I took the default location when I installed it which is on my C colon drive in a folder called MinGW and if we click on MinGW double click we'll see there's a subdirectory called bin this is where the compiler the GCC compiler which is our C compiler and a bunch of other utilities are and so what I want to do is take this path information and I need to um, copy this information uh, so I right clicked on that and um, I'm going to copy this address and I need to go into some settings here so I'll go to my control panel on my computer and I'll go to system and security then I'll go to system and under system you'll see advanced settings and this little window will pop up and we'll go to environment variables in the bottom part here in my system, my system variables I'm going to scroll down until I get to the path variable select it hit the edit button and then I'm going to scroll all the way to the end of it. I'm going to put a semicolon because I'm going to add a new path and I'm going to paste in that path to our compiler that we just um, have installed. So I'll click OK to get out of here and at this point I'm now ready to install the Eclipse software. Before I install the Eclipse software, I have to download it. So let me just pull up my web browser again. And I'm going to go to eclipse.org. And once I'm there, I can click on Downloads. And if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see the Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers. This is what I'm interested in. So I'm going to download the Windows version of it. Alright, it's successfully downloaded. And this is a zip 
archive. So there's not really an installer um, for this uh, Eclipse package at all. What I'm going to do is just go find that zip archive and uncompress it and uh, put it in the appropriate place on my disk. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to click on it and we'll say extract all files and I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my top level C directory, C drive. All right, and so here it is, fully extracted. So if I double click on the Eclipse folder in my C drive, you'll notice um, all the Eclipse files here. And the one I'm interested in here is the one with the little purple circle icon. This is the Eclipse application. So I'm going to double click on that. Uh-oh, did I say you only had to install two packages? Well, depending on what your computer has already installed, you might have to install three. In this case, this is a brand new installation of Windows, and I don't have the Java Runtime or the Java Developer Kit installed yet on this machine. So before I can run Eclipse, I need to go and install Java on this Windows computer. Eclipse is actually implemented in Java. So to do that, um, I need to go off to the Oracle website. So once again, we will pull up our web browser and download Java. So let me see here. I'm going to search for Java and I will go to the download link here. And you might have noticed that um, I had installed the 64-bit version of Eclipse. Um, and in that case, I actually need to make sure I get the 64-bit version of Java. So I'm going to click this link here, see all. Uh, Java downloads and I'm going to grab the 64-bit if your computer is running if you're running Windows 32-bit um, then you'll go with the 32-bit but I have a 32-bit um, version of Windows here so hit run okay Java is installed and I have to do um, one other step very similar to what we did before with MinGW. I need to modify my path um, so that it includes the Java binaries. So to do that, I'm going to go over to my C drive. And if you look under uh, Program Files, you'll find your Java subdirectory under Programs. And there's a bin directory there. So I'll right click on that to get the address. And once again, I'm going to go to my Control Panel and click System. And then go down to the advanced settings, my environment variables, go into my path, go to the very end, semicolon, and then paste that path to our binary uh, executables for Java. Okay, at that point, we should have everything ready so we'll go back to our Eclipse folder and double click on Eclipse and sure enough this time it's starting up the first thing it does is it asks me for the workspace and this is the directory where all of my individual projects are going to be so I'm going to take the defaults and sure enough now we are up and running with Eclipse CDT and now we can start doing C development on our Windows computer. And to demonstrate that this environment is indeed functional I'm going to go over to the workbench by clicking on this little arrow and I'll go to file new C project and I'll take the hello world skeleton program and I'll just call it hello and then for compiler since I have MinGW installed that's what I'm going to select as my compiler I'll hit finish and there is my project and the very first time in CDT that I create a project I need to do a build project to get the uh, debug directory and everything created and once I've done that I can run this program which pr simply prints out hello world by clicking on the button and sure enough you'll see down here that I edited, wrote my first program compiled it and ran it um, right here in Eclipse CDT. 
So that's all there is to it. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.